Welcome to the Bold Money Revolution podcast. This is your source for straight talking, no fluff, business and high performance conversations that add real depth and value to the way bold leaders live, work and thrive. I'm your host, Tara Newman. I'm here to show you how to optimize your performance as a leader so that you can grow a business that is profit rich, efficient, and allows you to generate real tangible wealth for yourself and others. We are here to help you lead with your values, to perform without overwhelm and burnout, and to do your most important work in the world. Hey, hey, Bold Leaders, it is Tara here. Welcome to the Bold Money Revolution podcast. And today I am going a little maverick on us. So every so often I get a wild hair idea, something that I want to talk about, and I just flip on the mic and I go for it. And then my wing woman, Stacey Harris from Uncommonly More, has to figure out where she's going to fit this in into the content blocks and figure out how she's going to restructure our content plan. So, you know, like they say in Top Gun, I am writing checks my body can't cash right now. So we are going to go a little maverick and we're going to have a good time doing it because I'm noticing a challenge that some of you are having around investing in yourselves, investing in your businesses, investing in your future financial security, and you don't trust yourself to make wise decisions. And you are sitting on the sidelines waiting to see when is the perfect time, the perfect investment, the perfect amount of money is waiting in your bank account. And I'm just going to let you know that is not how this works. It doesn't happen that way. And I know that a lot of you have also had really poor experiences investing in something that didn't really pan out. And I'm going to flip the script. And instead of my usual kind of letting you off the hook because the online business space is just so bananas, I'm going to come in here and share with you where I think you can be taking responsibility for investing in your business and actually giving yourself the momentum and moving forward in a direction that feels good and aligned to you. And so maybe this is just one of those tough love episodes. It's going to be short. I don't plan on spending a lot of time here. So for those of you who like my longer episodes, I'm sorry, but I'm going to just get in here, do my thing and get out. So I want to talk about why business investments fail when you take personal responsibility. There will always be external factors to everything, but the way we move forward and the way we grow and learn and take ownership and get the true results that we want is when we can look at something and go, okay, well, what was I responsible for here? It took two of us. There were two people. There's three sides to every story. It takes two to tango, whatever little cliche you want to use, it applies here. So here's some reasons why business investments fail that you can't pin on the other person. You can't pin on the consultant, the coach, the marketer, the this, the that, right? If you don't believe you will get an ROI, guess what? You are not going to get an ROI. Having that belief going into an investment and saying, I'm going to get the most out of this. I am going to be, I always go in and say, I'm going to be their best client. (laughs) That's the energy I set for myself. They're going to love working with me. I'm going to be on their testimonials and their case studies. And, you know, I'm just going to really implement this in a way that is unique and gets me to where I want to go. So you have to go into the investment, taking responsibility for the outcome, claiming that vision, claiming that desire, claiming the result you want. And don't overthink it. So many folks are overthinking these investments. And I actually think it's when you start to overthink things and overcomplicate them that they start to come from a place that isn't in alignment. And if you expect any investment to be an immediate jackpot, you're going to be disappointed. So the mindset that I go in with is every investment I make works out in my favor. I always get an ROI. And here's an example of what that has meant for me. I took a course on publicity once. I hate courses. I don't do well with just a straight course. At the time, I hated visibility, pitching, 
publicity. I hated being at the center of things. I hated talking about myself. I hated writing my about page. I hated telling people why they should work with me. But I took the course because everyone else was doing it. So I took the course because peer pressure. And there was a lesson. And in this one lesson, the woman said, if pitching makes you uncomfortable, start your own podcast. That was it. A single sentence. And I dipped on the whole course. I exited the Facebook group. I never went back into that course again. I immediately closed it down. And instead, I threw all my energy into starting a podcast. And five years later, that one sentence has made me millions of dollars, right? That was the seed that got planted for me and has gone on to be the engine. This podcast is the engine of my business. Now, was it really that one sentence? It was the seed, right? It was the seed for the next thing and the next thing and the next thing for me. So when it comes to programs and it comes to getting an ROI, sometimes that means implement one thing. Receive one perspective shift. Even if you learn to never spend money on that thing again, or I've realized I could have asked better questions up front, or I've learned that what I invested in drains me, and I won't be using that strategy going forward. That is an ROI. Because like that saying goes, you either win or you learn. And at times it has stung to spend money on something that I felt disappointed by. I've spent $40,000 on masterminds and I was like, "Mm, this did not do it for me. This was really disappointing and it was a lot of money. But I've always learned something, even if it was journal pages full of what didn't feel good, what I wouldn't do again, what I don't wanna emulate, And to me, learning is winning. So when it comes to investing, I follow the Maverick rule. Can you guess who saw Top Gun 2 this past weekend? Very inspired right now by Top Gun 2. Best movie I've seen in a long time. So I'm now calling this the Maverick rule. In Top Gun 2, Maverick gives Rooster some sage advice to keep him alive. And he says, don't think, trust your instincts. That's how I want us to start to practice, because this doesn't happen overnight, practice investing. I want you to practice trusting your instincts instead of overthinking something. We have all been on a sales call with somebody where our body was giving us the answer and we overrode it with our overthinking, right? So I want you to feel more, trust your gut, trust your instincts, trust yourself, when you make those investments and not overthink it. The Maverick rule, don't think, trust your instincts. If you found this podcast valuable, help us develop more bold leaders in the world by sharing this episode with your friends, colleagues, and other bold leaders. Also, if you haven't done so already, please leave a review. I consider reviews like podcast currency, and it's the one thing you can do to help us out here at the Bold Leadership Revolution HQ. We would be so grateful for it. Special thanks goes to Stacey Harris from Uncommonly More, who is the producer and editor of this podcast. Go check them out for all your digital marketing and content creation needs. Be sure to tune into the next episode to help you embrace your ambition and leave the grind behind.